Let me paint, but really get what's up is I Welcome to Toby Podge Channel. Our today's video is Family Adventure in Baguio City, Philippines. Baguio City in the Philippines. Baguio, on the Philippines' Luzonus land, is a mountain town of universities and resorts called the City of Pines. It's particularly popular in summer due to unusually cooler weather. At its center is nearby, Baguio Cathedral, completed in 1936, has a rose-lit interior. The main thoroughfare is Session Road, lined with shops, restaurants, and internment options. Burnham Park Park, officially known as the Burnham Park Reservation, is a historic urban park, located in downtown, Baguacity Planner, Daniel Burnham. A successful Chicago architect, he was selected as director of works for 1892 to 1893. World's Colombian Exposition Calaguiala Fighter II as the White City. He had prominent roles in the creation of master plans for the development of a number of cities, including a number of notable skyscrapers in Chicago, the Flatiron Building of Triangular Shape in New York. We are now going to Igorot Stone Kingdom.
Sigurd Stone Kingdom. This is Baglio's newest attraction, Thigurit Stone Kingdom. When visiting Baglio, make sure to include Ethis in your itinerary and be amazed with this beautiful man-made park. The Igorot Stone Kingdom is a cultural revolution. This is meant to once and for all wipe away the micro-conceptions and disinformation about the Igorot. Igorot Stone Kingdom is a theme park that showcases the indigenous culture of Cordilleras, as well as the practice, tradition, values, and way of life of its people. It is based on the legend of Sabangan, which is believed to be an Igorot kingdom that on sea existed thousands of years ago. The man-made park is built on a mountainside, where owner Pio Velasco said was the exact location where he had a sighting of a white carabao. Velasco took the white carabao as a sign to build the structure. According to him, the park is a representation of both the new and old Igorot culture. It also serves as a tribute to his Igorot mother Rita Rosing Galvalasco, whom he described as a strong and patient woman. The highlight of Igorot Stone Kingdom is the stone walls, inspired by the rice terraces off Batag in Banawi. These stone walls are built in riprap, where stones or boulders are interlocked together to form wall. Traditionally, a riprap does not involve the use of cement, but for purpose of reinforcement, cement are put on top. Igorot Stone Kingdom is situated along Long Long Road in Pinsa proper, roughly 5-5 kilometers from the Baguio city center. It is just a trekking distance from the famed Tem Awen village. To commute here from the city proper, Taki a long long or Tam a windbound jeep from Kayang Street, fare is 10 pesos. Alternatively, you may catch a taxi or grab from anywhere in the city to take you there. Among the main attractions at the Stone Kingdom is a tower that depicts the fantasy story of Gaiden and Bangan, an Igorot man and woman who survived the Greek Holocaust, a fertility stone tower, and a Kabunyan Igorot gold tower. Velasco said, One area of the modem side off park is dedicated to my sister who was killed in an accident in the Natha country while the Huja living rock at the entrance of the ancient side is dedicated to my mother, who raised us in wonder doing her best to give us good future.
The Losco noted that the whole concept of the park was born when the community quarantine was declared in March 2020. He said, the property idea popped up when he visited the property which had been in his possession for over 20 years. Because I had a vision in my mind then to give slowly emerged, showing my dream fantasy kingdom, the Losco said. He said the park will also house life-size statues of prominent Igorots who have made a name and were proud of their ancestry. He also said he hopes to complete the park in 12 months time and open to the public by June 2020. Hoping that you enjoyed watching this video, see you again in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.